Dear Randall, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying how much I freaking love you. Today is the day I've always dreamt of, and from the day we got engaged, you have made it your mission to make my fairy tale come true. Now bear with me as I've written and edited these vows more times than I care to admit. From our very first date, I knew you were the one. Cliché, I know, but it is the truth. I'm not sure if it was the way you captured me with those blue eyes and that big old smile, if it was the delicious steak you grilled me, or if it was the way we spent 12 hours together, and I just never wanted the day to end, but I knew you were different. Since that day, you've continued capturing my heart for being exactly who you are. Despite your joy in pushing all of my buttons, falling in love with you was effortless. Never once did you play the typical dating games or make me question your intentions. You proved to me quickly that unconditional love does in fact exist and that you can love without expecting something in return. You showed me that you cared about me and that you would do whatever it takes to keep me around, even if it meant the camouflage shower curtain had to go. You have always made me feel safe and God knows that I can be a handful, but no matter if I'm having a bad day or if my anxiety becomes crippling, you make sure to let me know that we, not just me, will make it through it. Eight hundred and eighty four days ago, I would have never thought a simple message on Instagram would lead to this day. On our first date in the rain I'm, and now I never thought you to use the rain. We have gotten used to the rain. Today, I stand here in front of you because the love I have for you is one of the dreams I'm made of. I promise to be your best friend, your rock, and when you need that shoulder to cry on that will not judge you or be unsupportive. I also promise to support your dreams, even if it means wearing our Halloween costume, PJs, putting on the Christmas tree in July. I promise to already, I promise to always love you unconditionally. You accept me for the Christmas loving who I am and even wear matching Halloween pajamas, yes, Halloween, and put up our tree on October 31st. You are committed, honest, and always stand up for what you believe in. You are the best dog dad our girls could ever ask for, and I honestly cannot wait to see you become a father one day. Our kids are going to be so dang lucky. The way you look at her, the way you love her, the kindness you show her friends and family is so appreciated. But most of all, I love your patience. Amen. Your patience for Megan, with her minimum of 10 photo shoots a year, excessive decorating for every holiday, in addition to shopping and Ray Dunn, and her never-ending clothes collection. <laughs> Watching you love her over the years has given me no doubts that you are the one she's been waiting for all these years. You're her rock, her best friend, the love of her life, and now her husband. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you guys. I love you both so much. Congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Harris. Thank you, we love you. Megan, you are my chosen sister. I cannot imagine my life without you. And I am extremely blessed to know that you are gonna be with somebody who can love you and cherish you and deal with you, uh, um, in a sense that he is extremely patient and a great counterbalance to you and all that you bring to this world. Um, I am extremely, extremely happy that you guys are together and I am so, so happy. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs.
Honestly, this list could go on for days, and I'm sure everybody would love to hear more, but we have some celebrating to do, so let me stop here. All in all, I know that you were handpicked for me, and I am beyond confident that if my dad were here today, he would be honored to call you his son-in-law. Now, as we venture in this life together, I know that every day will not be easy. However, I vow to see the glass half full on the day that seems empty for you. I vow to stand by you when life is rewarding and stand even closer when it's challenging. I will never give up on us, ever. I promise to love you even when I hate you. And yes, I did quote Grey's Anatomy. I vow to never take our time for granted and always celebrate our wins with Mexican and Marbs. I promise to always be faithful and honest and overuse I love you. Most importantly, I vow to be the woman you fell in love with and the woman I am meant to be so that I can be the best wife for you. Randall, you are the love of my life and I promise to always make it a priority. And as Beth said to Rip, you better live longer than me because I don't want to live another day without you.